What's up everybody, welcome back to Selenix Crypto and welcome to this gala update, which I actually uh, am considering of doing daily. Um, I know that a lot of you uh, follow me for, for gala content. I've uh, Like yesterday, I checked out when I made my first gala video and that was in the middle of November of 2021. Uh, so that's very long ago, one and a half years ago, even more, I think, yeah, a little bit more. Um, so yeah, let me know if you would like those daily updates until like the token upgrades. There's still a lot of news. Yesterday I also made a news video on Gala, what it means, what, what Coinbase is doing. Will it be delisted? Quick answer, yes, I do think it will be delisted. Uh, but I also think that's already uh, uh, priced into the markets. So we could actually get some bullish momentum uh, uh, because of that. I know it sounds weird, but trust me, I've seen that before. Um, so yeah, in this video, we'll talk about Gala. We'll talk about the technicals as well. Um, don't worry, we, I will not only just talk to you, I'll actually show you some, some important things as well. Uh, so that's what we will do. Now, before we get into that, if you want to receive daily trading signals from me, uh, check out the links down in the description or in the pinned comments, and there you'll find instructions on how to join. Um, and you can also ask around whether they are good signals. In the Telegram group, you will be contacted by some impersonators, by some scammers, just know I never DM first, all right? Now on to Gala. So yesterday we actually had, uh, I mean, it was a volatile day. We started off with that spike in the morning when uh, when Binance announced that they would support the token upgrade. And then we got bullish momentum because of the um, because of the inflation rate, which was lower than expected. A sudden crash, but that was followed by a move up again towards 3.2. Um, altogether, quite a lot of bullish momentum after finding support around 2.75 cents. That's always that's what I'll name the prices as, right? So 2.75 cents is 0 0.275. Um, however, and and I talked about that yesterday as well in the in the in the in the Telegram group with some some people. Technically, we are not bullish yet. Uh, if you zoom out to the daily time frame, for example, you can see that we're now testing this level between 3.4 and 3.2 cents. Uh, and we have not had any bullish breakouts. I would even go as far as saying that we had a bearish confirmation by finding support at the 236 FIB with that 50 EMA. Um, so yeah, that does mean something. Now, I, I drew this key level, which is a legit key level. I drew that on the chart with a reason. And because I do think that from here we can actually start some bullish momentum. But what we would need to do is to form a higher low. All right. So to confirm that we are in an uptrend, we need to actually trend up a bit. And that's where this level comes in uh, between 2.9 and 3 cents. What I think we need to do is I think we need to stay on top of at least 2.9. If we can do that and then also start to test that level around 3.2 and perhaps even break above 3.2, if we break above 3.2, we can actually uh, get into an uptrend towards 3.5 and 3.6. I don't see that happening, uh, but if we just keep testing it, so uh, get up to that level and kind of uh, find support at 3 cents, maybe spike up towards 3.4, if we can do something like that, then I think we can at least consolidate here and after the token upgrade or just ahead of it actually start some sort of bullish momentum. Um, I'm not saying it will happen. I'm just saying then at least we have a chance and, and then we are actually stabilizing a bit uh, because Gala hasn't seen stability since the 20th of April. Since then, we've, we've practically just been falling. Um, so we need some stability. Only from that stability, we can actually get some sort of bullish momentum or an uptrend. Um, so that's the main thing. Uh, so that's the main thing to look for right now. If we cannot stay that, so that's if we stay on top of 2.9, and if we start to challenge 3.2 and 3.3, then I think we can actually do that. Excuse me. Um, if we cannot if we cannot stay on top of 2.9, I'm sorry, but we're going to probably drop down lower towards 2.6 and 2.5 cents. So those are my thoughts for now. If you do have any questions, as always, let me know. But for now, thank you for watching. Take care and bye.